Back at the Roxy Pro France, and another matchup has hit the water. Overlapping heats, new heat in the water, Joanne DeFay versus the rookie, Brisa Hennessy. Ali Fitzgibbons and Paige Herb now in the priority heat. And first wave for DeFay, a straight hander. Close out, and no real score. Can the tide movement, as Professor Pete pointed out, not a whole lot, so look at that wave just gushing. Joanne DeFay utilizing that great backhand technique that she has. Nice off the top to start off with. Gets a little caught up on the finish, but she's going to earn some points for that first beautiful off the top maneuver. We haven't seen a lot of waves with multiple maneuvers. Often showcase a little point of difference. Look at that wave. As it did, yeah, spitting its guts out, and then that there, I feel like if she's able to jump that lift. This is a big, big heat between Joanne and Brisa Strider. Yeah. Well, I'm just really proud of the flag holder. He's been down there all day with that French flag, and it's just unbelievable how long he has been holding that thing up. It's not easy either, is no, it? No. I mean, it's a lot of work down there, man. Joanne DeFay, we know her talent on the backhand. Hooks there, a little too late, has to throw the board away. Sally had a 2.57 rebound off the right. I feel like that section a little bit more critical. So it's going to help her out as we watch Brisa now. Brisa Hennessy milking it through that one. Hits the oncoming section. Great effort from the rookie to co-complete. I love the intent. I love the effort. That was a challenging wave, but Brisa Hennessy did a great job striking. What happened with the boards? Joanne DeFay, layback hack. And Joanne bails off the back, and she will bail out of that fractional score that she currently has in her scoreline in the non-priority heat, get rid of that 0 0.93, and improve upon that score. That's more like it. Brisa got a wave as well. Let's check out this right. Pump down the line, looks for the lip line, and goes nice, clean. Take a look at this, and a trip oh. over the falls for Joanne DeFay. See the technique there? She pulls the feet out underneath. Pencil dies, great way to get away from your surfboard. It also helps you to get uh, not sucked over once you eat it. Look at that, see how her feet go down? That angle is a little bit tough to see it, but she does get her feet there and jumps off. Just before this contest. Priest Hennessy on the backhand. And that new board is still looking really good for Hennessy. 3.87 was her last number that she checked in. We're waiting for the last score for Risa Hennessy. Last score for Sally Fitzgibbons. Just down to 15 seconds in the heat between Fitzgibbons and Paige Harrop. Here we go. <laughs> Let's just look at this replay. Pete, John DeFay. Oh, wow. That's tough. Hennessy. Oh, very similar. Yeah, but she pulled hers down. In a rating of fun, I give that fun a 9.33. Joanne DeFay, live ac action, has to bail out, sees the closeout down the line. Dick dipped his head underwater, didn't even paddle down. That's, I, I, I use that same one too. I mean, it's going to push you into the shoreline. That's her. Oh! Disappearing and act for Joanne DeFay. The tube monster is we back. We saw her do it from the surf ranch. Now she did it all natural here at the French Beach Break. That was beautiful. You know what's cool about that, too, is that literally the excitement that she carried coming out of that barrel, you could actually catch eyes with her from the shoreline. Yeah, they would have saw the smile immediately coming out of the barrel. That smile was ear to ear. Oh, 100%. Look Nine this. point ride for this. She's in the barrel, disappears completely, foam ball rides over it, and nothing but teeth on the other side. Look at that. I mean, this is super deep, too. Look at it, how far behind she is. She is going over the foam ball again to come out of that barrel. Straight up nine points. And look at number ones. She even thought it was a 10. She won. She won handedly over Paige Harab and Sally is with Rosie Hodge. Impressive performance. Well, Sally, you're into the quarterfinals. It seems like that has been your run of result. Control in the lip. This is a 5.5 for Hennessy. Wow, Brisa blowing tail out the back. Seems to have dominance in this lineup right now. She just looks so solid out there, which I like. Joanne DeFay, hooking backhand maneuver, gets back in the open face, combos it up for the finish, and Joanne DeFay catching fire at the end of this heat. 
Well, low score 3.6. I think we're going to have to kiss that one goodbye. For sure. The waves are firing here for the Roxy Pro as we introduce a new heat. Difficult section, too, with a lot of punch in it. Jaran Defay right before the buzzer. Nice backhand snap. Nice ride to the beach for JoJo. And she's going to ride her way into the quarterfinals here at the Roxy Pro France.